and a half. There we go. What's going on, everybody? This is Duke, and we are here with Taylor from Kane. How are Hi, you guys. doing? Yeah, I'm it's doing so good so to good. have you here. Oh Thank man, you. I, I want to. Uh, I, 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 you know, I've been doing interviews for over twenty years, and it's always I count it always as a blessing because of the fact that I get to encourage the people that encourage millions and millions of people. So I want to personally say thank you so much for being who you are and doing what mm. you do, uh, especially in such a, <laughs> a weird time as what we're coming out of or going into. Mm. We have no idea what's going on. Uh, right. We need music like yours. Uh, and so I'd love to start off with, um, <laughs> where did you learn how to write so intimately? Mm. Good question. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for saying all that. It's it is an honor. Like I want I want your listening family to know it's an honor to write music that can encourage believers across the world. Like that is just I'm so thankful that God called us to do that. Um, you know, I maybe I can say so my dad's a pastor and growing up in the church, you know, you get older and you think you're smarter than that. And sometimes you think, oh, I can just, you know, watch from home or I can I can do this and that. But you know what? Do not forsake the assembly. It is amazing to be in the body of Christ, to be in God's house. And I think growing up, uh, just being surrounded by the word of God. I'll tell you, when I write music that I start talking about my feelings or how something makes me feel compared to when you just quote scripture. Woo! That is just, that's where the power comes from. And so it's, like I said, it's just a privilege that God lets us use his word. I mean, it almost feels like plagiarism in a way. <laughs> <laughs> you just take it from the Bible, you know? No, but, but you know, the thing is, is that I, you know, I think about when uh, the, 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 the everyone was leaving the Messiah and he asked the disciples, are you going to leave too? And he says, where are we going to go? You have the words of life. Hey, that's and right. you can, you know, that, that, that right there is such a beautiful statement uh, because that's honestly, when I hear your music, that's what I hear is life being spoken uh, into, uh, into people. Now I want to ask you during these difficult times, is, is that how you cope with things like you go deep and, and write when you're going through difficult times or something like that, that's what you do? Mm. Because it, it feels that's like, good. it feels like you connect. Like it, it really does. It feels like you connect with, not just with people and what they're going through, but you write in a way where you connect with people's relationship with God. And so mm. I was wondering if that's a reflection of your own writing that, that you're sharing with us. Oh, wow. That's great. I'm really glad it's coming across that way. Um, <laughs> You know, it's funny. So I'll take Rise Up as an example, but Ugh. we were not in a tough, challenging time necessarily when we wrote that song. We were more just kind of, we had just gotten a record deal. We'd been doing music for, you know, six years with just nothing working out. And then it just got opened every door at the same time. So we're singing about, you know, come on and rise up, take a breath, you're alive now. We're thinking of this as an anthem of victory. And then... When the song comes out and the world completely shuts down, we then had to sit at home alone and listen to our own words and say, wow, am I going to stay in this tomb? Am I going to stay in darkness? Wow. Or am I going to listen to the voice of Jesus calling us out? So it's, it's funny how God does that, but you can even write something intended to be uh, just a totally different message. And then Someone God else. uses it for you. Yeah, it's crazy. And and I gotta tell you, the, I mean, you can't make up the timing, right? The, 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 that was a total God right. thing. I know. Uh, the, the time was a total God thing uh, that 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 happened. Now, uh, speaking of rise up, the the you just nailed it right there. And this is where I think so many people get discouraged. Are you ready for this? Ready. I found out that discouragement has nothing to do with depression. It means your courage mm. has been dismantled. 
Wow. Something has separated you from your courage. And so wow. when I hear rise up, when I, when I found that out right before the song dropped, right? And so yeah. my mind was blown. I'm like, they have to know this. They have to know. Because really <laughs> this, this rise up was a call to be brave. Come on. And I'm going, man, now more than ever, we got to be brave. And so I wanted to ask this question because I know that one uh be being in the the music industry can be intimidating. Uh, right. Going after your dreams can be intimidating. Being in the arts can be intimidating. What were some of the challenges that you had to face that you had to tell yourself, I've got to be brave, especially since you just said all the doors were closed and it was going nowhere. Yes. <laughs> um, that pumps me up about the discouragement. Ooh, that's a good word right there. Um, the challenges, gosh, the challenges during that time. And, you know, I think it's funny, the things that you struggle with, it's just the enemy knows what gets you. And isn't it funny? He always comes back to that. Oh. Always. And um, I think just feeling not good enough, maybe I could sum it up for the three of us as a whole oh. is just you. And you know what's funny is like, I wonder if people could even look at Kane and how things are going now and just say, oh, wow. I wish I was where they are, or I wish I didn't have to worry <laughs> about my identity. And it's so funny, like every day, if you don't wake up and, and put the armor of God on, you're going to be hit with the same oh, thoughts man. of, am yeah. I good enough at this? Like, I'm, I'm such a fraud. Like all these thoughts of like, I can't believe that I'm, I'm the one that God chose to do this. Um, so yeah, it's just, and it probably works for any, any line of work that you're in. You wake up every day and you're just like, am I, I'm, I'm not ready for what I'm about to step into. And, and we, you and I both know we are ready. And yeah. God, if you look at the lineup of the Bible, all the people that God <laughs> chose to use, they really That's weren't good. ready. You know, they weren't ready. <laughs> and I think it's just, we just have to say, okay, I, I mean, I don't, I'm just going to ask God to give me what I need today. And then we're going to go for it. <laughs> no. I'm I'm serious. I think that was a great analogy. Uh, so when I, I'm wearing this shirt that says Yeshua, definition salvation. Uh, Yesh, the, the name Yeshua means salvation, and uh, <laughs> but then when I think about what salvation means, it was seriously somebody else saw, saw value in trash and something that was broken or something that was, and they were able to make something out of it. I think it's absolutely amazing, you know, uh, that he even entertains us as a species <laughs> and not just entertains, but <laughs> pursues us. Yeah. And um, I noticed that when you write music, especially when you're writing for that, I know you did the song for chosen of the, mm. Oh my gosh, you were writing from the perspective of our Messiah, you know, and there was a lyric that I wanted to ask you about, because this requires bravery to do this. You okay. said it's OK not to believe a little bit like it's OK to, to be a little confused in the very openings uh, of your song. You that required bravery because, you know, a lot of Christians would be like, that's never OK. Yeah, could yeah, yeah. Talk, could you talk about that reality a little bit? Because that's that awesome. was a powerful statement. And mm. thank you so much for being brave enough to say, hey, guys, this is a crazy world. We're going to we're going to shake in the faith a little bit. But as long as we hold up, but please go ahead. Yeah. Um, well, I think in writing the commission, that was already like, you, it kind of feels like a risk because you are, I guess I'm singing from the perspective of Jesus, which is people already are like, oh, girl. <laughs> but um, I think I just tried to, I was sitting on my front porch and I was just thinking about the great commission Sorry, a loud car went by. I'm trying to protect your, oh, no, <laughs> your you're ears. Good. Yeah. Um, this but, is not a professional show. Like we, okay, we're, 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 we're off the charts. We're wild. I mean, this is... That was one of those trucks that you're like, they took every part of that. The muffler's <laughs> gone. It was really loud. <laughs> I'm in Florida, so you know what it is. But anyways, um, I was just thinking about the Great Commission and how that is always seen as kind of like a – you know, go, it's almost like a command. I took it as like honor your father and mother, uh, give to missions. We were thinking about 
that just seemed like love your neighbor, something that he was telling us to do. Um, but when you look at it, he is telling his closest friends. These are the men. There's there's 12, actually 11 of them at this point, And he's saying everything that you've seen, it kind of falls on your shoulders right now. And if you don't tell what's happened, this could die off. I mean, that if we're really looking at it as like Jesus being fully God and fully man, he really was relying on these men. And I think there's just a human aspect of it when Jesus says, I'm a friend that sticks closer than a brother. When you think about him saying, you know, see my hands and look at my feet, but it's okay <laughs> oh. if it's hard to believe. Um, it is, I mean, it's, there's just something so comforting. And so that's, that's the reality I want to live in is where Jesus is saying, it's, it is going to be hard for you sometimes to wake up and believe that all of this is real. But he also says greater things you will do than what you've seen in me. And it's just like, okay, he's also calling us. He lets us have, you know, a moment where we're not sure, but he's saying you, this, this is all on you. I'm going to help you and I've given you the Holy Spirit to help you, but you've got to step into that. And I, that's, that's my favorite song to date that I've ever, I feel like songs are gifts from God. And I'm so thankful that he gave me that gift. Yeah. You know, it's, it, the reason why it blessed me so much was for so many different reasons, because I always want my daughters, I have two girls and I always want my daughters to know that they can relate to the example of, of Christ as, as a man, you know, because, because it's bigger than that. And, you know, uh, it was just weird. I just saw two of your faces together, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm like, whoa, that's weird. But the, the <laughs> fact that, uh, you wrote it. You did write it. You did a very wonderful job. I think there might be some movie director in you, by the way. The way you guys did the music video was phenomenal. Uh, and you you just, the way you told the story, you captured it. And, you know, when you think about how he could have been offended by uh, the doubt of Thomas, he could have been offended uh, when he asked to touch. But he's like, no, here, go ahead. But just know, you know, that, that, that there are going to be even those that can believe and don't need to see, but, but mm. you know, you, you're still valuable, even though you need this, you're still valuable. That's he didn't good. write them off. You That's know? a good word. Uh, right. And we like to feel superior about our faith sometimes. Like, Oh, my faith is greater than yours. I can yeah. jump out of plane. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, well, I can trust Jesus, you know, but uh, I, I love the fact that he didn't make Thomas feel less than, because he needed something more. He, he was intimate with the reality of what we experienced. Now, did you get to go on the set of Chosen when you shot the music video or is that just good editing? I sure did. I sure wow. did. We, I know. It's unbelievable. It's like, it's really big. It's really big and it's beautiful. It's like, it really does feel like you're stepping into a part of history um it's pretty amazing to get to be there yeah you got you guys did a great job on the on the video was it, was oh, it hard not to make you. jokes about the guy that plays jesus was hard not to be like you're jesus you know yes we have actually met him twice and he he messaged us on instagram and it's just like what i can't stop seeing him as jesus i'm like jesus has an instagram no 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 i i do yeah. love that show though like whoo I'm in season three now. It's just so good. Yeah. I, so I, I actually, uh, I actually know Dallas. I know I met Dallas through his father, Jerry Jinks, who wrote the <gasps> Left Behind series. Yes, that's right. You know what I mean? So that's how I met them. That's so they're, really they're cool. Wonderful, wonderful family, wonderful guys. Uh, you know, they're working really hard. So I'm really, I'm really proud of them. Now I got to ask this, but I don't know. Do you have to go? I don't want to hold you up. Cause I listen, this is what I do. So I. No, I oh, this is what I do. No, yeah. you're good. I got, I got a few more minutes and then I'm, uh, they got me stacked up back to back. So, but I, yeah, I, okay, I got a gotcha. few more minutes. Love talking. Oh, cool. So, so check this out. So, I got to know when I asked everyone, I asked David Crowder this, I asked Michael uh, from Michael and company, uh, Cohen and company. Uh, <gasps> yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> so I got to know, when did you know you, when did you fall in love with music? When did you find out this is who I am? Oh, that's a great question. I'm so curious what Michael Cochran said. He's the best. He's like so <laughs> talented. It's unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Um, and David Crowder too. 
piece. Oh, do you, you got to see their interview. It was it was deep. Their interview. I need deep. to go watch it. Um, <laughs> so, I think it's funny. So my dad, I got to give my dad a lot of props because I was going to go to college to do. I was going to be an ultrasound tech, which is like, what? And, and he was like, okay, okay, that's a cool, that's a cool job. But he was like, I just want to ask you, like, on all the home videos, what did we see you doing? Like, what do you remember doing as a kid? And when you look back, all the videos are, okay, we're writing a song, we're performing a song, we're making up a skit, we are, everything had to do with music. It had to do with us being in church. We were making up sermons, like the whole thing. So my dad was like, I want you to pursue don't worry about the financial side i want you you need to do what you feel like god's calling you to do and i think i just had a fear of actually going for music whatever that looked like i was just kind of afraid um so i'm really thankful that my dad pushed me to do that so you were but i really think the drive was there when i was a kid and i wonder if that's the case for you 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 were free, well. I don't know. Did I lose you? We might have, we had a might have had a little. Can you still? Am moment. I there? There you go. There it, you go. It did it did a big pause on me, so I was like, oh gosh, I should stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I I was but, just saying. I wonder if in your career, um, and other people that are listening, if they remember a time when you you just fell in love with something and you're scared to really pursue it, but. At some point, it's like, wow, I wonder if God was putting that desire in me as a child. And I'm so thankful that I had people in my life pushing me to, like, go for it. I mean, I wrote terrible songs, terrible, when I was a kid, like, probably uh, seven and eight. And I would make my sister sing them. And it was just like, it was a disaster. But I'm so thankful that my dad was like, keep going, keep trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, so I I can honestly say uh, I'm doing it right now. I've, I've always been able to connect and communicate with people, but I was always told that I talk too much. And I, that is so and, interesting. And, and, and then I was always told that uh, I was the class clown. And so when, when I graduated, <laughs> when I, when I graduated, I had like 17 senior superlatives and none of them had any relevance to it. You know, it was like the most, you know uh, the, the funniest, uh, right. the guy that the guy that makes people laugh, or something. And <laughs> and now I ended up in being in the entertainment industry for twenty years. Wow. You know, and, then, and then and then of course talking. I mean, I have a four hour morning radio talk yes. show where I can inspire people to start off the day. And I absolutely hated this gift. Wow. Because I, yeah, yeah, and so I. I, you know, I do believe that only God, only the creator has the right to define us in any way. That's Honestly, right. not even us. Not That's even right. Us. You're right. Uh, I know. <laughs> cause, you know, so, but, but I noticed that you guys really go creative with your music videos, uh, that you're not so into, you know, just being churchy. Again, I oh, think nice. you guys are a bunch of troublemakers. <laughs> You guys, you guys are a bunch of troublemakers. He knows. He knows it. <laughs> so he found out. Were were you guys like, hey guys, we're gonna if we're gonna do this, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. We're not gonna just play church. Yeah. Was well, that a decision you guys made I on think, purpose? I mean, to be honest, when we moved to Nashville. Nope, we hit it again. We got it. We got it frozen again. Hold on one second. Sorry, brother. There it we keeps go. doing that. Yes. I don't, I'm, I got no, you're good. Island. Um, okay. Back to the question. I think when you do something and it doesn't work for so long, like moving to Nashville, um, the music that we started writing just became more and more sad. It was like just the topics that we had nothing joyful. We were still believers went, you know, grew up in a Christian home, still loved God. But it's just funny that your circumstances, they just started to weigh down on us. And when we went back to church, just started serving. I did coffee. Logan was a greeter. Madison worked in child care. When we just surrendered and just said, we're going back to the things we know are true. 
everything fell into place. We got a record deal three weeks later. So I feel like people, when they see us now, and I think that the question could be, why are y'all so joyful? Why are you so happy? Why are you wearing matching colors? Why is everything so bright and fun? That you got to know that like a few months <laughs> prior to just dark sadness and nothing yes. going right for you. Yes. It's like, hey, God gave us a second chance. We're wearing this out. We are going right. out with a bang. We're going to be right. as bright and as loud and as joyful as we can be because I feel like that's what he wants us to do. Yeah, for sure. Because we're so good at telling our bad times, but then we like just overlook the good times. And yes. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you this. Since I'm a word guy, so I like, I got, I study words and all that stuff. Nice. Well, find out the word comfort. Check this out. Has mm. nothing to do with relaxing. Comfort, comfortability has nothing. The word comfort actually means to strengthen alongside for the next battle. It literally means that. Unbelievable. So that means that God's all when, for God's more like when when the, the guy's fighting and they go to their corners in the ring, he's more like the guy that's wiping your towel off and saying, Go ahead, spit, Ooh. here's some water, get back out there Good. and do it again. Yes. And that's comfort. So that comfort makes it sweeter when we get the victory. It's the dance. That's sweeter. It's the it's what you just said. It's that that resilience that to, it makes the worship pure because you've been comforted in in, in this difficult time. Uh, did I lose you again? I lost you again, <laughs> guys. We're having some Wi-Fi. Things. It's all good. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, listen. It's it's it, this is this is that's why I said this is that show. Uh, but, oh my god! But you guys, uh, I, I love what you said. You can focus on. Well, people are saying, why are you so energetic? I'm ready to preach right now because of you. Uh, preach. You just said that people can see you now and wonder why your praise is the way it is. But the reality is they don't know the story behind the scenes. Mm. <laughs> that's so good. That That is amazing. And that comfort, that's going to stick with me today. We got that means we stay in the ring. We never get out of the ring. <laughs> We're always fighting. We got think to. about it. Why would we? Something somebody lied to us and we believed it. Because think about it, if it's a fallen, broken world. Well, as long as we're here, the enemy's just trying to find a new angle. That's right. So the moment right. we relax, our defenses are down. So yep. comfort can't be about relaxing. It, it's You're about, exactly right. It, it's it can't. It's impossible for comfort to be about relaxing. It has to be about, you know, you know, like, like what you're doing. There's, there's a spirit of refreshing, there's rest, but it's mm -hmm. all to make sure we're able for the next battle. And I think about what you guys have to go through sometimes, uh, not to scare anybody away, but it's like being on the road is not easy. And I think sometimes people can see the enjoyment on stage, but, you guys can be tired. How, how how many days do you go on tour sometimes? That's right. Um, we had 145 shows my first year of touring, and that I don't I don't really know if that translates. But being being home was we really weren't home that much. Somehow, like just in the travel, getting to your shows that eats up another half half of those dates. So, but um. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it's just like good to learn that like anything that you see going on, anybody that's trying to make a difference for the kingdom, like don't judge. It's hard. It is hard. And we're doing it. All three of us, we all have our first baby now. And so on the tour bus, we all have cribs and formula and diapers. And so we're still going. We've got babies on the road and we're about to start our headline oh. tour. <laughs> This is this is amazing. This is amazing. I first of all, I'm so grateful for you taking the interview, uh, and you know, I I can't wait for years and years, you know, of more wonderful a adventure. Because I don't even want to just say music. I see so much coming from you guys. I see you guys making movies and doing that. Like you guys have that whole I vision. Can see that. Like, yeah, I believe yeah. that you guys are going to be a, honestly, I, I've uh, for the last three years, I've been ministering to people, telling people that God is going to take media by storm. Um, these, 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 you know, and it's going to be quality, you know. Yep. <laughs> you know we God, need that, yes. yeah. Yeah, we, we do, we do. Because people 
need when I when I listen to your music, I don't feel it's not entertaining. It's captivating. My I feel my my soul is being ministered to, and for, even when I talk to other people about your music, that's exactly what they're telling me. Uh, yeah. Is a lot of people told me that they listen to Christian music to keep negativity out of their mind, right? Right. I've had so many people tell me that from hearing your writing and, and listening to your lyrics, like it's actually ministering to them, giving them something to think about, not just wow. trying to avoid something, right? but That's actually so filling them. That's so good. Yes. That that right there I mean that's why I was like I have to have this interview because <laughs> you, you. Uh, I, I wanted to give you the report that so many people are hearing what you're saying and yeah. uh and you're you're really blessing people in a, in a serious way uh now I, I I don't know how much time you have left um yeah probably I've got to go. Um, I'm my husband's ride from the field, so I'm going to go pick yeah. him up. <laughs> and you're not going to get me in trouble. Yeah, that's, it's her fault if you're late. It's her fault, it's not me. mine. She wouldn't stop talking. She Look, was I've, got to, I've got to drive this truck, so please pray for me. Good grief. Please pray for me. What is that, a T-Rex? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want to say thank you so much. I feel like you are – doing a deep dive and I really appreciate like it's not lost on me your listeners getting to know a deeper part behind the music because I feel like sometimes it's very surface level so I really appreciate you letting me share my heart and I feel like uh this this show this is going to impact people uh, for the kingdom in a oh, deep yeah, way absolutely. it already is absolutely but thank you for letting me join yeah, anything that we can do to help you, you guys got my number. You know what to do. You know, we oh, love yes. you guys very much. Please, got you've got to meet the other siblings because I am so boring compared to them. They're wild <laughs> in a great way. I don't know. Please you're driving me. a dinosaur. You're pretty wild, too. You're, 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 you're driving a dinosaur. All right, That's listen. Right. You go before you get me in trouble. You guys, okay. we love you guys very much. All right. So, uh, and make oh, sure you we love you. Spread, give them my number too, so they can call me. I'd okay. love to interview them as well. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you God so much, you. Duke. I'll talk.